When Brad Thorne took to the pitch at Twickenham last weekend, it marked his 48th test appearance for the All Blacks. But the journey to this stage in his rugby career has been an unconventional one. Although he made his debut for New Zealand back in 2003, his initial call-up had come two years earlier, when John Mitchell selected him for the All Blacks end-of-year tour. Uncertain as to whether he had a future in rugby union, Thorne turned down the invitation. Back in 2001, that's 10 years ago now, it's a long time, but a couple of years before that I'd become a Christian. and I'd come across for one year to play rugby and I'd signed a one-year contract and, and I had an option of two more. and. Um, I sort of had three things. I was wondering, you know, do I like rugby? Was I any good at it? And did I like New Zealand? And, and um, halfway through the year, my first year of rugby, the answers to that was all no. I just wanted some time to go away and think about uh, what I was going to do with my career. Still in his boyhood years, the Thorne family left New Zealand and moved to Brisbane, where he'd spend the next 16 years of his life, going on to represent Australia at Rugby League, which raises the inevitable question, Kiwi or Aussie? Yeah, this, I've been asking, asked this question since uh, my school days, and I still don't know. No, but uh, I grew up in New Zealand until I was nine years old, and uh, then we, my family moved to Australia, and I've grown up there you know, until I came back to play rugby when I was 25, so very passionate about New Zealand, that's where I'm from, my love for rugby uh, came along, but also uh, I won't hide from it, I, I, I've got a great love for Australia, I, I was schooled there, I have many friends, uh, my wife is an Australian, and I have a great appreciation and, and belonging to both countries, um, but yeah, in my heart, I'm, I'd say I'm definitely a Kiwi. <laughs> Brad Thorne's career path has had many twists and turns. He took a year out from both codes in 2002, but after finally making his All Blacks debut in 2003, things didn't quite go according to plan. I wasn't selected in the All Blacks in 2004, which was really disappointing for me. It didn't look like I was sort of in the frame there. I used to play for the Brisbane Broncos, and there was a team that had had a lot of time with and a lot of mates there, and I was it excited me to have another crack at a grand final. After a second successful spell with the Broncos, Thorne made the journey back across the Tasman Sea in 2007, and for the last three years, he's been an automatic selection for both Canterbury and the All Blacks. I think rugby's in a really good place in the last few years. Um, I really love the scrummaging and the, you know, all the different parts of rugby. Um, it's a really selfless game, rugby. You've got to work together to get a result. You know, you can't just, uh, in league, you could sort of more go out and say, you know, and just, and, and uh, you don't need your, your teammates as much. The two great games, just appreciate them and, and enjoy them. As one of the more senior members of the All Black setup, the 35 year old has had more experience of the modern game than most and how to deal with it. It's just not natural for a young person to, usually in society you work hard and over the years, you know, in a business, whatever, you, you know, you slowly build up your pay packet and you, and you, you know, you become a manager or whatever, but the footy can come so fast, you know, you're out of school and all of a sudden you can buy a car, you buy a house and, um, you know, your ego gets tested and I really feel for a lot of guys uh, coming into footy. Um, if I can pass on some uh, experience or encouragement to young guys, I try to. Basically, just try and be a friend and just have a laugh. Hugely respected by his peers, his physical hardness and unrelenting attitude have given added stability to an all-black scrum that in the past was perceived as their Achilles heel. To me, it's important uh, also, when you play, uh, I enjoy, I've always enjoyed physicality since I was a little kid wrestling my dad. And, and I want to play it as hard as I can and um, rip into it, you know. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I want to have respect for my opponent as well, you know, throughout the game, try and play in the right spirit. I'm sorry if I look a little bit uh, scary or something, I don't, I don't know, but uh, it's just, just a guy who's enjoying his footy and it's just the way I express myself. I really enjoy it. I'm a really, I'm a big softie.